Hi, this is hi, this is Dr. Walker with DenWalker.com. Uh, I just want to give you um, an update on a an article I wrote uh, about two weeks ago on, on natokinase, N-A-T-T-O, natokinase. Anyway, um, so this is a food or a supplement that uh, works, some would say, better than aspirin now. Um, there are some things that we're taking now about every three or four months, right, that um, have been known to cause blood clotting. So some people have suggested that um, if you are at risk for blood clots, then you should take, uh, you should be on some version of aspirin. And some people would say 81 milligrams, or some people would say 325 milligrams of aspirin to prevent blood clots. Um, now, the problem with aspirin in and of itself is that it can cause some belly problems and some kidney problems if taken uh, long term. So this thing now, natto, natto is sort of a fermented soy product from our Asian uh, friends. Uh, they eat this almost, in some places, eat this almost uh, several times a week um, um, as a part of their normal, normal diet. Now, what's great about natto is the fact that it prevents, uh, to some degree, clot formation. Again, so if, if you're prone to having clots, then this may be something to add to your list. Now, natto is very high in K2, and K2 we talked about before. K2 is that thing that mobilizes calcium from your soft tissues and wherever else into the bones where it, it can help with, with treating and preventing things like osteoporosis. But um, importantly, again, the natto helps to decrease your risk of creating clots. The other important thing about this, which is the part I actually like a little bit better, is the fact that it can also help a little with breaking down clots. Not many things that you uh, eat will do that, and not many medications or supplements you will take will do that. So the thing that we're talking about again, um, we know that they tend to cause clots, specifically microclots. If you don't know what I'm talking about right now, then uh, I don't know. Anyway, uh, it causes microclots, right? So you need something to help help you uh, to prevent the clot formation. One and two helps break down the little clots that you have. Again, reducing your risk of things like uh, DVT or PE and strokes and aneurysm and all those things that we're talking about. It helps to decrease the risk. Not risk. Now, the soy product um, it, it it has a weird smell to it, and if you can get over that one little thing. Uh, this is going to help a lot of folks long term. Now, if you're on aspirin products, um, uh, again, you may have to talk with your doc about reducing or changing or that whole thing because you don't want too much uh, thinning of your blood. You don't want that at all. Um, and also remember that K2 also can antagonize things like warfarin. So talk with your doc about that as well. But again, if you're on risk or if you're at risk for creating blood clots, DVT, PE, any of those things, natto may be the thing that helps you, uh, uh, help you. And again, it's a, it's a soy product, um, but there's also a supplement version as well. You can look into that. I, I, I just sent a tweet out saying that a lot of folks won't necessarily know about this, but you may have to do a little reading yourself to figure out um, how to use the supplement, if you can use the supplement and so forth. But again, the two big things that I worry about uh, are... Um, Number one, if you uh, are on things like warfarin or you're taking aspirin already, because it does some of that blood thinning um, for you, you may want to talk with your doctor about those two things specifically. But otherwise, look into that. Um, and again, it's just something else that can you can use or utilize to help to decrease your risk of blood clot, blood clot formation. And again, all those things will help you to prevent things like stroke and heart attacks. And you can see um, recently lots of folks young people um, falling over from, uh, quote, sudden cardiac concerns. Um, but this may help uh, help you long term. Thanks for listening, Dr. Walker.